Hi, I'm Mike Graham with Shelby Professional, and this is Lighting Insights. Today, we're going to be talking about prisms. Prisms are a great way to add in dynamic effects to any show you're working on. It's a really easy way just to add in something just a little bit different. Today, we're going to be showing you a few simple tricks with two different fixtures and how to use the prisms that are inside those fixtures. So let's check it out. This is our Rogue R2 spot. It's pretty typical of most spot fixtures in that it offers a three facet prism. This prism is really even and the facets overlap just enough to give you the effect that we're looking for. Typically, prisms are used for creating more light on stage or creating aerial effects. They're also really good for adding texture to your space. All you have to do is drop in a gobo, give you something different to look at. It looks very, very cool. By adding in a bit of rotation and a different gobo, we can actually give ourselves a three-dimensional effect. This is done by just adding in a different gobo, a slow rotation, and it just gives you something different to look at on stage. It creates more texture and more dynamic effects. Sometimes, all you need is just having your prism engaged, give it a sharp edge, and let it rotate nice and slow. Again, this gives you a dynamic effect and creates texture on your space. If your fixtures are equipped with irises, that's even better. You can use your irises in conjunction with a prism effect, give yourself a little rotation, and now you have a completely different look. If you're so inclined, add in an iris pulse. Again, creates nice aerial effects, as well as giving you some kind of different texture on your stage or in your space. Sometimes it's cool with music. And that is how we use prisms with spot fixtures. This is our Rogue RH1 hybrid. It's a bit different than a spot fixture in that we actually have two layers of prisms. Start out with a six facet prism. Then we can go into our eight facet prism. Now these two prisms can actually be combined to create some pretty interesting looks. Let's start out taking a look at some gobos inside the 8-facet prism. Simple rotation, really easy effect to build. This is great for adding texture to any surface or creating really cool aerial effects. By adding the 6-facet prism on top of that and again adding in some more rotation, you can give yourself even more effects. This gives you a nice big image with lots of light and lots of beams that are really impressive to your audience. Again, texture is the key here. By increasing the speed of the rotation, you can actually give yourself a more dynamic effect. Maybe this is an up-tempo song, you want to add a little more to it, this is a great way to go. By changing those gobos to a more linear type gobo, you can actually give yourself much more dynamic effects and really, really cool breakups. This is a great way to add three-dimensional texture to any flat surface and give your surfaces a little bit more life. Sometimes, just having one prism in alone gives you exactly what you're looking for. This is one of my favorite looks. It just gives you great dimension, and it looks like that whole mass is just spinning inside of a ball. Again, if you don't have a whole lot of, a whole lot of texture on your surface, this is a great way to add some. Going six facet alone, because you're going to come in and out of focus, is also a really interesting way to go. The reason you come in and out of focus with a six facet prism is because the prism is wide. So when the light goes through it, it actually bends at different rates. Because of this, you actually get a little bit of an out of focus effect, which is kind of neat. Using hybrids for multiple effects is a really cool way to add texture to your stage. And here's a few application examples on how we've used prisms in some of our productions.
We hope you picked up a few useful tips today. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, this is Lighting Insights.